disobeying the law. Secondly, it's important that we are talking about conditions of service that has gone through due process and has been with the Salaries and Wages Commission and the Office of the Head of Service of the Federation for the past 10 years, some 11, some 9, some 13 years, period. These conditions of service ought to have been reviewed about three or four times. What it means is that the lives of the workers of these organizations have been shortened by 10, 11, 12, 13 years. And we are taking it easy because it's a warning strike. By next week, if this today's warning strike does not bring the result, it's going to be a complete and total order. I salute you. We are together in solidarity. Yes. The Nigerian Labour Congress is together with you in solidarity. Yes. I speak on behalf of the NLC. Even though Comrade Ajero is not here, but we are here. Yes. The struggle continues. Yes. Injury to one. Injury to all. Bikin, where you say mama no go sleep? Bikin, where you say mama no go sleep? Comrades, you see, we cannot use police to intimidate us. Having said so, we salute you once more. Remain firm. They must hear our cry. Because I believe God is with us in this struggle. And victory shall be our portion. Thank you, our God bless. We are very, very alive to the protection of our common patrimony. We will be waiting up to now. We've given them a lot of opportunities. But they kept bungle on it. And we said, enough is enough. Enough is enough. So we can't take it any further. And this is why, like what uh, Comrade said, if they are ready to play ball, they are equally ready to shoot our swords. But if they are not ready to play ball, it's enough. This is just a warning strike. By next week, I think the full flesh strike will be on. And that is when you will see people who have, you have never seen. We will be more than this. And the action we will take will be more difficult than this. My colleagues have said all, oh, so there is no need to repeat everything they have said. So let the struggle continue. And Every single day we have our members leaving the service. It is their desire that this document is approved so that their 
exit packages will be enhanced. But we keep waiting and they leave the service and nothing happens. Should we continue forever? So you understand where we stand. Uh, I am not the spokesperson of the ministry. I can report to you what the government said that no any structure will be demolished until workers are adequately relocated and given alternate office accommodation. That was what they said. But uh, we have put our demands that it is not right that you wake up overnight and demolish uh, premises uh, without any planning on how to relocate workers, pay them adequate relocation allowances and uh, transfers or whatever benefits as it were. So that was the case we made. And they gave us their assurances that, they, in the, you know, government would always say their own that there won't be any de demolition until the right thing is done. So we, we will work with what they have said. So that's. <laughs>